Okay. Then we do oxygen sensors, eight oxygen sensors. So we're looking at all of these, trying to figure out what to do to each cylinder as it goes down the track in each gear. And we have a wheelie bar sensor on the wheelie bars that uh, everybody notices. We have chalk on the wheelie bars, and when the car stands up, you see it chalk on the ground. We actually have a sensor, a uh, hydraulic sensor in there with, with a uh, transducer that measures the pressure of the fluid in that cylinder. Is it compressor? So we can see how that's acting. So we know that gives us an idea of how much more weight we need to, we need to put on the front end. Because sometimes you want it up on the tire, up on the wheelie bars here, but not too hard up on it because it'll spin the tire. So you look at that run and you say, okay, now we can move. We'll actually move five pounds from the, on that run. We'll take five pounds off of those and move it to the middle of the car so that the, so the, the wheelie bars are harder next time. And now can, you can see things in there like a miss. Or, uh, like, see this blue line here, number six is laying flat right there. That tells you it's a little too rich, which will uh, correlate with the data you get from the air fuel ratios. Okay, if the air fuel ratio says it's rich, the EGTC is also laying over there. You can see detonation on an EGT, which is a little hard to see on a, on a, a oxygen sensor. So, but you don't just tune the car with just one aspect. You know, you kind of try to get correlating data and then. Uh, all of the stuff you get to make the decision on what to do, including the sheet. We have a sheet that, that tells you how you ran each 330 feet of the racetrack compared to all the other cars. Have you ever seen one of those? Huh? It's very, very well, something wrong. I can show you a graph we made yesterday that went right across the bottom of the page and looks just as pretty as that graph. <laughs> seriously, seriously. Okay. Um, and, but this says, okay, Jim, you were in the middle of the pack in 60 foot. Going uphill, and then right here you went down. Where it's, where it's down here is where I showed you that I ran it to 10, 10, 10,000, which is where we shifted all the time. So there's something going on. It's too rich. It doesn't want to be up there. Then as we get down track, see it starts to come back up. As we get down here, the, the transition lines are going back up the page. So you compare this with that. And look, why did it do this? What caused it to do that? And you try and use the computer data, just like tuning a late model car. You know, you've got all the computer data, but you got to have a complaint, and then you correlate the complaint to, you know, what the computer tells you, and then you try to fix the problems. Um, and then we actually monitor pressures. And this this gives all the things I showed you: your battery voltage, carburetor pressure, oil pressure, uh, battery voltage. Vacuum in the engine. This is back the blue line up here. Vacuum in the engine. Right here, it's over almost two. Almost two. Seven. 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 It only went to the right about six or eight inches, but you want it to go perfectly straight so you don't ever have to give any steering wheel. So you'll, you'll look at this, this video 20 times in the two hours between when you ran and when you run that. Well, sometimes one. So, you know, I went to college for five years. I got a degree in mechanical engineering. And and you have the guys, how does that help you when you race around? It helps you because you, you get to understand a lot of what makes the car work. And not that it makes you any better than anybody else, but it gives you some insight into computer technology, maybe, or pressures and volumes. And, 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 and this deal here may affect this, and that may affect something else. Yeah, a lot of things. And beyond what, what we're just looking at here in the engine. We actually have another program yes, that has the, the, the uh, suspension of the car yeah, that we use to look at that. A lot of that will very easily help you. Uh, engineering plays a big part of the suspension of the car, probably more than the engine.